may find yourself asking whether there is anything that you can do to serve an increase in faith so that you might believe. Welcome to Ask Spurgeon. In this episode, we pose the tenth of a series of questions to Charles Spurgeon, whose answers we are drawing directly from his Christian classic, All of Grace. I'm delighted once more to be your host. My name is Dave Holt, and it's good to have you with us again today. Reverend Spurgeon, are there any practical steps I can take to increase my faith? so that I might believe. My friends, may I venture with just a few suggestions. Firstly, if you have difficulty, take it before God in prayer. Tell the Great Father exactly what it is that puzzles you and beg him by his Holy Spirit to solve the question. Secondly, the Holy Spirit will enable you to believe if you hear very frequently and earnestly that which you are commanded to believe. We believe many things because we have heard them so often. It is written, Faith cometh by hearing, therefore hear often. If I earnestly and attentively hear the gospel, one of these days I shall find myself believing that which I hear through the blessed operation of the Spirit of God upon my mind. Thirdly, consider the testimony of others. The Samaritans believed because of what the woman told them concerning Jesus. Many of our beliefs arise out of the testimony of others. Listen, then, to those who tell you how they were saved, how they were pardoned, how they were changed in character. If you will look into the matter, you will find that somebody just like yourself has been saved. In the fourth place, note the authority upon which you are commanded to believe, and this will greatly help you to faith. The authority is not mine, or you might well reject it. But you are commanded to believe upon the authority of God himself. He bids you believe in Jesus Christ, and you must not refuse to obey your Maker. In the fifth place, think over what it is that you have to believe. That the Lord Jesus Christ suffered in the place and stead of sinners, and is able to save all who trust him. Why, this is the most blessed fact that ever men were told to believe, the most suitable, the most comforting, the most divine truth that was ever set before mortal minds. In the sixth place, think upon the person of Jesus Christ. Think of who he is and what he did and where he is and what he is. How can you doubt him? It is cruelty to distrust the ever-truthful Jesus. He has done nothing to deserve distrust. On the contrary, it should be easy to rely upon him. And then finally, in the seventh place, my last word is, submit yourself to God. Thank you for being with me again today. I hope that you may find these few suggestions from Charles Spurgeon a great help to you in your desire to increase in faith that you or someone you know may believe. You've been listening to episode 65 of the Ask Spurgeon podcast. Have you been encouraged by it? Well, why not subscribe to the podcast and, if you will, leave a review of your experience. Conversely, I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions or comments, and to do so, you can email me at dave at askspurgeon.com. Have you heard of the new audiobook edition of Charles Spurgeon's All of Grace, subtitled An Audio Classic and Worship Experience? Well, you can pick up your copy of this wonderful Christian resource on amazon.com or audible. I believe you will find it a wonderful encouragement to your soul, or even an amazing gift for someone you know. 
Do join us again for another episode of Ask Spurgeon, where we will once more ask faith-building questions, and for the next few weeks, draw answers from Spurgeon's classic book, All of Grace. Until then, may our Lord Jesus bless you and be glorified in your life.